In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fill out an invoice PDF for freelance work. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make videos like this one on freelancing tips as well as tutorials on Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can fill out an invoice PDF. So the invoicing tip I'm going to show you guys today I think is pretty cool because it doesn't require downloading any fancy software or anything like that and it's completely free. I'm going to walk you through exactly how I fill out my invoices for freelance work. First thing I'm going to do is open my browser and type in invoice-generator.com and I'll link this site in the description below so you can find it easily. This is a fantastic site. I use it for all my invoices and it's super easy to use and it actually has a lot of cool features built into it, which I'll cover in a moment. And no, I am not sponsored by this site. This is not a paid promotion by any means. I literally found this website one day and started using them and I'm telling you guys about it because I love it. So I'm going to start at the top of the invoice and work my way down. And once I'm finished filling out the page, we can download it straight from the website as a PDF. The top portions are pretty self-explanatory. For example, if you have a logo image of your business or freelance work, you can add that image here. The next section is where you put your contact information. So I'll put my name and I'll put my address, not my real one, of course. I usually put in a space and then I'll type in my email address and my phone number information. After that, there's the bill to section. This is where you put the client's information, specifically their billing address. Be sure to double check this as some clients have multiple billing addresses for their businesses and they may want you to use a particular one for your invoice. Now let's go over to the top right of the PDF where you can set an invoice number to whatever you want. This is really for your records, not the clients. I typically will keep track of how many invoices I send to a particular client. And that way it's easier for me to look up an invoice that I've sent months ago if I need to for any reason. So for payment terms, I usually keep this section blank but let's say that you have an agreement with a client that they'll pay you at the end of the month or maybe they'll pay you all in cash or something like that. You can write EOM for end of month or COD for cash on delivery. But again, I usually keep this blank because you'll see how the next section kind of covers this. So the next part of the invoice is the due date. And here's a pro tip. I always write due upon receipt in this section. That way, when a client receives the invoice, you're letting them know that you want to be paid right away. Now, this may not work in every scenario because, as I mentioned, sometimes you might have an agreement with a client to be paid at a specific time. But in my experience, usually that's not the case. And you can bill a client immediately when you send the invoice. OK, so let's move down to the middle section. For the terms, I usually put the general title of the project that I worked on and maybe a brief word or two about what my role was. So for this example, I'll put baseball history video dash video edit. I'm going to skip over quantity really quick, but I'm going to come back to it. So for the rate, this is not the place to put your hourly rate. You want to put the total amount that the project cost here. So if my hourly rate was $50 per hour and I worked on this project for eight hours, I would then put $400 here. If you're not paid hourly, but paid by the project, then simply put how much the project costs in this section. And then coming back to quantity, in most cases, I usually only work on one project at a time, but let's say you did a weekly project where you were editing videos or creating something under the same larger project, you could put four here, one for each project week. Once you update the number of projects, the invoice will automatically update the total amount below. You can also add in more projects in another line, and I'm pretty sure you can add in as many as you need. For tax, I usually keep this blank because I work taxes into the final cost as it is, which is agreed upon by the client. That way there's no real sticker shock to a client when they see the invoice for the first time. But if you want to put in a discount or add in shipping costs, you can do that as well. For the amount paid, I usually keep this at $0 unless a client has already paid a portion of the project up front. In that case, I would put the amount that the client had already paid in this section which would then be subtracted from the grand total. Next, we have the notes section. This is where I put what my role was. And in most cases, I'm usually a video editor. And then I will put what my rate is. So let's say $50 per hour, or you could put what the paid per product terms are here instead. I also use this area to get super detailed on what exactly I did on the project. 
In my case, as a video editor, I'll write how many videos were created, what they were called, how long each section took me to edit, how many versions or variations of the video were created. Try to use this space to get very, very detailed if you can. I'm not going to fill out this entire thing right now because that would make this video super long, but I think you get the idea of what I mean. In my experience, clients love to see exactly what you did and they really appreciate all the information you can give them. Some may not care at all and may never even bother to read it. But my feeling is it's always better to overshare information than to leave a client in the dark about something because you never want a client to come back to you after sending an invoice asking, what exactly did you do? And how did you come to these numbers? And that brings me to my next point, which is invoices can take a long time to craft. They can be very time consuming, especially if you've worked on a large project. So a couple tips would be to first, make sure you allow an extra hour or two for invoicing in your billing. You don't wanna be doing this stuff on your free time when you could be doing other things. Second, make sure you track all of your hours and time very carefully before you sit down to write your invoice. This will save you a lot of time and headaches trying to remember exactly what you did and when. The last section is the terms part, and I usually leave this blank as well, but like it says on the invoice, you can use this area for filling out a payment schedule or late fees. So now that we've filled out this invoice, let's go up to the top and I'm going to hit download invoice. The site will automatically create a PDF that I can open up and send out to a client if it's ready to go. Or you can send it directly through the website by selecting the send invoice option and it will email a client a PDF of the invoice. One last feature I wanna show you guys, which I think is really cool. If you go to my invoices, it will take you to a page where it stores all of your past invoices. The browser will remember your previous invoices that you've created and you can go back and edit them if necessary. Or maybe the browser crashed before you got to finish one, you can go back and pick up from where you left off. I think that's a really cool feature and for a free service, it's really awesome. So that's how you can fill out an invoice PDF. What other kind of issues are you guys having with invoicing? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can make a video covering that. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on freelancing tips, Premiere Pro, and Photoshop, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com. Also, check out my other tutorial videos which I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.